tell the vet get there. <laughs> so. <laughs> Built, protected by Amsoil, with support from Roadster Shop and Nitto. So I'm out here in Azusa, California, gonna visit Banks Engineering, see Gail and the team, and see Lockjaw. It's been a long time since I've seen Gail in person, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see the truck. Wheels came out yesterday. I don't believe they've opened the box yet, so this will be the first time that they're seeing it. There we are. Let's go in and see this truck. Hopefully they can get it done in time. I'm sure they will. Got a lot of good guys working on this truck. This is it right here. Let's go check out this truck. Wait a minute. Here's a guy who at? knows all about what's going on. <laughs> Jonathan. How you how doing? How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Jonathan yeah. Peace, Matt Gamble. How you doing? Good. Yeah. You doing? Good, good. We're talking about the brake rotors and how they pump. Okay and how that would feed into the wheel. Yeah. I see some drawings, but there's- well, I see a, a nice little crate here that y'all haven't opened up yet. Well, yeah. Oh, and that's been tough. Yeah. <laughs> it's been tough not to open that. I'm dying to see these wheels. Here, you do the, do the honors on the last one. We've been peeking through the corners. Just watching you render these things over and over again. The first thing I noticed was, before we opened the box, first thing I noticed was, <laughs> You're doing this stuff freehand. Uh, the sketching, yeah. Yeah. My design process, you know, I like to have the traditional hand sketching, but then also use CAD to yes. help design as well. Because you know, everything I'm designing has to be a physical part. And you, know, you can sketch something that can't be physical. <laughs> yeah, I got so it. So that's why I like got to go it. into CAD to make sure that the proportions You're are right. You're kind of checking and, on yourself. Exactly. Let's have a look. I can see them through the corner right uh, here. All I'm right. dying. So, <laughs> There's the rear, the rear's over here, there's the front, and here's the front as well. Now these don't have any lug holes in them yet, but what we're gonna do once we flip it over, then we'll machine the lug holes from the other side just to make sure we don't have any uh, alignment issues front to back. I'll let you guys take it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Woo. So what do you think? I love Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so these two are the rears, and those exactly. are the fronts. So we've got different offsets and different widths. Yes. So the fronts are 22 by? Eight and a half. Yeah. And the rears are 22 by 10 and a half. All right. A little bit different backspacing between the two. Mm -hmm. uh, the rear has a little bit more concavity to it, uh, but also the, the deeper uh, center cap as well. Yes. To, to cover the rear axle. When you look at these, there's a whole lot of yesterday going on here. Describe the feel you've got or that you imparted starting in the center. The main spokes, I wanted a very retro feel to it. Yes. Like an homage to like an old cast wheel. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously with the truck all being patinaed and everything, I felt like that was a good match between the two. Yep. But then, you know, whenever you guys lift the bed and lift the hood, you see all this technical engineered under it. Yes. And that's what I wanted to incorporate into these fins into the perimeter of the wheel, into mm -hmm. the hoop. So you have more retro that radiating into, into the, the future. Exactly. If you're doing something and you want a wheel that no, nobody's ever seen before, you got to go to Jonathan Peace at Spark Industries. Yes. Period. That's it. <laughs> That is just, whew. People are gonna be talking about these wheels, guys. They are gonna be talking about these wheels. So the OD of the rotor, right about there, it's spilling air out, and these are causing suction to happen through the openings. Yes, yeah, so this is the driver's side. So as it spins, mm -hmm. the back of the blade will catch the air to pull it out. One thing that actually you guys haven't even seen yet 
is the back of the opening mm -hmm. is slanted as well to help allow air to flow through even better. Let's have a look here. So there's a slant right here. Yep, there's absolutely, and side. that's with direction too. Yes. Whoa, that gets it going right there. We had a little bit more time. My idea is we're actually to make like a corkscrew kind of shape. Which would be in here. On the inside of the yeah. hoop to help promote air to start flowing in the outward direction. But so one thing you do get here, we don't have the nose on it. Imagine the truck moving, air stacking up against the nose, trying to follow this contour, which it doesn't. I mean, the faster you go, the further out this wake comes. So you get a negative pressure here anyway. So we're feeding air into this negative pressure area. If that helps this come back and be laminar flow at an earlier position, in other words, without that fill, this wouldn't happen until further back on the truck. So this is all turbulent flow. That's real draggy. The more we can do to get this to follow the contour of the body, the better. Secondly, we're pulling heat out of the engine bay as well, which is nice. And third, we're helping the cooling package. The air coming in the nose gets a more negative pressure here and the heat flow comes out. All in all, this is a really positive thing to do. We're in agreement. It would be a crime to paint these in any way. <laughs> and the black lugs are perfect. The black lugs, and I think if we maybe laid a black inlay into the logos, yes. make those pop, I think that would be a nice touch so that it wouldn't just be random black lugs. Mm -hmm. You would have the logos to match as well. Well, that's cool. Thank you for putting my name in the middle of the wheel. Oh, of course. <laughs> that's pretty big. Thank you for allowing me to put my name on the wheel. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Well, I can't wait to get some rubber on these things and see them actually rotate. Oh. Just another element in, in this whole project pushes the envelope a little bit. The blown diesel is kind of something. Of course, uh, <laughs> the rubber chicken is always good. I've been to a lot of those dinners. Uh, the hell did that get there? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Jeez. Oh, that's cool. That is beyond cool. That's a steering wheel. <laughs> That's your steering oh, wheel. Oh my God. Attention to detail. Oh what God. What's underneath there? What do we got? Guys, are you getting this? Here, let me take this out. What is this guy here? That's a little pry tool to take the horn cap off. Oh. It's included in every, every steering wheel you we have. You have to have it. 100% made in the USA. Yes. Nothing like it, I tell you. So what can you tell us about this? Can we take the uh, shower cap? Yeah, the shower cap off <laughs> of it. Yeah. So this is our one of our driver oh. series steering wheels. Uh, it's our spindle, mm -hmm. and it is a multi-piece steering wheel. So the grip actually bolts onto the center spokes. Got it. So we can it's modular, so we can actually we have different grip shapes and styles to give the steering wheel a completely different look. Wow. Whew. And wow. the leather is all hand stitched. I actually stitched that myself and uh, have our little top marker up there for a nice racy feel. I think this will fit my car. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. We machine it out of a solid block. Um, and this one, our driver series, does have an external adapter, kind of like in, uh, steering wheel standard for billet steering wheels. Mm -hmm. But we also have another version that's our muscle series and heritage series that's a deeper concave where the adapter is built internally into the hub of the steering wheel. Okay, that's cool. So yeah. it's a completely different take on a billet steering wheel. But unfortunately, that wouldn't work with the TCI unit that you guys are gonna be using, the paddle shift. Yeah. Uh, so we had to go with this one, which is a six bolt pattern. You need to go on spark.industries, S-P-A-R-C dot industries, and uh, have a look because I did. You probably got more than you had back then, but the various versions he's talking about, pretty amazing. You know, I want to sit in there and play with the steering yeah. wheel. How do you do the tires and not damage these wheels? That's like the... It's going to have... That moment. Whoever does yeah. it, it's going to have to be very careful and very skillful and know what the hell they're doing. So let's get to it. <laughs> 